Sasa hivi ma fans so vile tuli agree show itakuwa leo ni Asina Raja Bapa the host a uh, show yetu ni about vijana tubonge the initiative by Gogo Boys football club main aim ya hii show ni kuongea na boys my youth about anything they want ana show yetu ya leo main topic ilikuwa about depression so as you all know we had our guest today ataji introduce asante sana kwa majina naitwa Hassan Mahmoud nimekuwa kama uh, nimekuwa kama chairman wa Nubian University Students Organization na nina furaha leo kuja katika hili for this interview ili tuweze kujadiliana zaidi kuhusiana na mambo ya depression so I'll be taking short notes. So unaweza niambia more about Hassan. Who is Hassan? Where you are from? As venye tunajua wewe ni wa mtaa. But we don't know more about you. Asante. So kwa mm-hmm. so, mimi naitwa Hassan Mahmoud, nilizaliwa Kambi Muru na nikasoma Kikosha Primary School, baadaye nikaenda baadaye nikaenda Queen's High School kisha baadaye nikajiunga na university nikafanya law na sasa hizi nafanya Lancet kama mwanasheria Lancet kule. Na, na pia nimeweza kukuwa Nubian University Students Organization chair ambayo wanajihusisha na mambo ya elimu katika mtaa. So about your kusoma yako ya law, how has it changed your lifestyle from the last five years? from where you are to where you are today hiyo leo imekubadilishaje Asante Mimi naweza sema tukiangalia uh, tu masomo kwa ujumla kuanzia ninge katika uh, masomo nimeweza kuona mambo mengi sana kwa mfano unaweza kupata exposure katika mahali mbalimbali unapoenda hiyo ni ya kwanza you begin to think differently from how other people think ambayo pia hiyo ni naweza sema ni kitu zuri kutokana na masomo na mimi kibinafsi ningewasihi sisi kama ma youths sisi vijana uh, tuko na talanta na kila kitu lakini ni lazima pia tuweze kuzingatia mambo ya masomo kwa sababu masomo ni muhimu sana kwetu no. what is nuso nuso ni nubian university students organization ni shirika ambalo linajihusisha na mambo ya masomo katika mtaa wetu ambao ulianzishwa miaka 12 iliyo miaka 12 zilizopita na tangu nuso ikuwe katika mtaa wetu wa Kibra tumeweza kuona mambo mengi ambayo yameweza kufanyika kwa mfano ukiona wale watoto the transition rate watoto wanaotoka from one level to the other imeweza ku improve na pengine unaweza kuuliza ni kina nani ambao ni members wa nuso mtu yeyote anaweza kuwa member wa nuso sio lazima uko umeenda university ama wapi as long as uko na ile motisha kuweza kusaidia community yako basi unaweza jiunga na nuso na nuso pia inashirikiana na Haiba Foundation ambayo pia wanafanya kazi ya masomo katika mtaa wetu wa Kibra uh, so another question why do you think you are suited to a career in the life? like mbona unaona hiyo ndio the perfect thing for you kuanzia ni kuwe Uh, shule ya chekechea uh, from the primary level nilikuwa na ile uh, ile morali ya kuweza kufanya kufanya law kwa sababu nilikuwa nimejihusisha sana na mambo ya ya like human rights nini kwa sababu shule niliyokuwa nimeenda pia ilikuwa inajihusisha sana na mambo ya human rights mambo na health so kupitia hizo baadhi ya activities ambayo walikuwa nafanya nikajipata tu nimekuwa na na nimekuwa na ile that goal to become a lawyer one day ambayo inaweza kuko and since umekuwa kwa hiyo mambo ya law umefaced challenges gani as a youth as msee wa mtaa because obvious unajua uko juju wanaona sisi watu wa mtaa hatuwezi fika hapo mm-hmm. so ni challenges gani umefaced huko um to face yani kama ah kuku discriminate mm-hmm. uni msee wa mtaa acha <laughs> nena yeye uko aezi kitu mm-hmm. watu wanakutenga kwa class jambo la kushangaza ni kuwa ukiona baadhi ya wale wengi ambao wametoka katika mtaa kuna wengi najua kama kuna Naima Ibrahim ambaye amefanya law na kuna
kuna wengine ambao wamefanya uh, different courses mtu ambaye anatoka katika mtaa ni mtu ambaye amepitia mambo magumu sana kwa hivyo ukienda kule nje most of the time unapata wewe ndo una shine kwa hiyo class kwa sababu unapata kwa mfano unasoma na wale ambao ni mabonyenye ama wanajiweza lakini wewe kwa sababu huji, hauna ule uwezo inabidi ukue na ile motisha ya kuweza kufanya na mara mingi wale ambao wanatoka mtaa they end up being uh, wao ndo narudi kukua like role models kwa wale ambao Mwenyezi Mungu ame, amewajalia kwa hivyo mimi siwezi kusema ni ni challenge per se but mimi naweza kusema yale ambayo nilipitia nikiwa pale ilikuwa experience ambayo ilikuwa inani 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 motivate na inanipatia ile motisha ya kuweza kuona mbele zaidi kulingana na jinsi maisha yalivyo lakini jambo pengine naweza sema the challenge the only challenge unaweza kusema iko ni the challenge that hata hapa mtaa wale ambao wame wame wame, wame batika, wakasoma hadi university na wakamaliza mara mingi unapata unapotaka ku kutangamana na wale wengine na kuwa vigumu kwa sababu wao naona tayari umeshakuwa katika level fulani lakini mimi mara mingi na wasihi hata kama mtu amesoma kiwango gani umchukue kama ndugu yako na usione yale masomo kwa sababu sisi ma youths tuna face the same challenge kwa hivyo ni jukumu letu ku, kuweza kusaidiana kwa pamoja so kwa hiyo karia yako have you ever been depressed um Siwezi kusema nimekuwa depressed but naweza kusema uh, pengine wakati mtihani unapokaribia unaweza kuwa pengine haulali vizuri sana kwa sababu unajua kesho kuna mtihani mm-hmm. ama pengine ukusoma vizuri inakufanya unakuwa na wasiwasi mm-hmm. kwa sababu depression inaweza kuwa na levels kunaweza kuwa na severe kunaweza kuwa na mild ambayo ni kidogo mm-hmm. so pale unapojihisi usingizi haukuji ama unapojihisi pengine Um, my, mambo yako haendi kama ulivyotarajia then inamaanisha to that extent you have some depression elements of depression mm. now uh, who is your mentor um ina mentor wengi sana mm. lakini yule ambaye nimependa sana na ni Martin Luther kwa sababu during the Alice incarnation wakati alikuwa analeta the movement ya kusaidia the, the negroes ikisoma hizo historia zake zinajikumbusha Tuweza, tunaweza kutoka katika sehemu moja ambayo hatukutarajia na kufika katika mahali ambayo tunaweza ukiona jinsi wale wa negro walipotoka katika uh, situation where they are being the rights are being violated mm-hmm. to an extent where now they are being recognized unaweza ona hata katika katika different levels of the government ina maanisha it's a great motivation even to us the youth lakini pia ukiona katika mtaa kuna wengi ambao tunaweza wachukulia kama ma role models wetu uh, the late professor Hassan Said is a good role model mm-hmm. Dr Ahmed Kalebi Said unamuona mm-hmm. anatamba Kenya mzima unaweza kumchukulia kama role model kwa sababu ametoka mtaa na umeona ameweza ku he has been in, in a position to push the ladder of success higher so guys at mbele mmesikiza ninyi wote ni Hassan Aloya bado ako shule anangojia certificate in fact so that he can step in the courts to face these things sasa Hassan unaonaje youth wetu about drugs ma girls ali teenage pregnancies wanajihusisha na wizi unaweza waambia nini Asante jambo la kwanza ambalo lina linasikitisha sana kwetu ni kwa sababu i mean jambo la kwanza ambalo lazima tu sisi sote tukubaliane nalo ni kuwa sisi kama ma youth sisi wote tunatoka mtaa hapa kibra tuko na challenges mingi ambayo zinatu face na hizo challenges unapata these youths wako idol okay unapata wengi wao hawana kazi ama wengi wao hawaendi shuleni ama unapata wengi wao mapato ambayo wanapata ni ya chini sana. Lakini anaweza kuenda mahali na kaiba na akaweza kukimu mahitaji yake. Kwa hivyo hiyo tayari ni, ni challenge ambayo tunaweza sema tunapata katika mtaa wetu. Ukitoka katika sekta ya masomo ukuje katika uh, sekta ya ya employment tumesema many of the youth are unemployed. Then wo, tena ukuje uangalie why do we have many pregnancy early pregnancies among us our, our girls is because hakuna kitu ambayo inaweza kuwaleta pamoja na ndio pengine jambo ambalo limeweza kufikiriwa hata na gogo boys ni kuanzisha uh, 
michezo mbalimbali ambayo inaweza kuwahusisha mabinti zetu hata vijana kwa jumla ili waweze kujitoa na mambo ya drugs and substance abuse kujitoa kutokana na mambo ya wizi na kadhalika and niongeze kwa hiyo pia counseling inaweza si ndio yeah, counseling inaweza tena inacheza inacheza a big role katika mta yetu kwa sababu unapata many of the youths like ni mwaka uliopita kuna kuna mmoja kati ya mayuts ambaye alijitia kitanzi he committed suicide ni kwa sababu pengine hakuwa na mtu ambaye anaweza kupatana naye na ongee moja kwa moja so tukiwa na counseling pale mtu anaweza kupatiwa mawaidha kama kijana anaweza kuenda pale azungumze na atakuwa ina better position ya kutoa ile kitu ambayo inamkera ama inam, inamsumbua So mumemsikiza hasa ameongelea about depression a little bit um, so uh, maswali zinaweza kuja as tuli agree mnaweza leta maswali zenu then we will be in a better position to answer meanwhile i naweza waambia differences of depression kwanza ni wanze na signs and symptoms Sign number one, reduced interest in pleasures and activities. Uko but hauna mood ya kufanya kitu kama ulikuwa footballer. Hauna uko no longer interested in doing football. Aujiski kufanya anything. You don't feel like talking to anybody. That's sign number one. Hiyo ni ya adults. Number two, changes in appetite. Uliko unakula sinia mzima kimtu mmoja sasa hivi unakula sahani nusu my friend you are depressed ah uh, unaweza nipatia sahani nyingine Hassan pengine kuongezea ambalo dadangu amesema unapata mtu pengine alikuwa na interest kwa kitu fulani lakini hiyo interest inaisha kwa sababu umeanza like una, unajiona ni kama you no, you're worthless yeah yani na wewe mwenyewe unajiona ni kama tayari hauna lolote na ndio unaona mtu anapoanza kujiona kwamba he is worthless or she is worthless she cannot do anything unapata mtu anajitia kitanzi unapata mtu anajitia anajitia kitanzi kwa sababu tayari amefika kilele fulani ambacho hawezi kuji, kujikimu kujikimu tena lakini pengine kuongezea jambo ambalo umesema kuna takwimu ambazo zilitoka mwaka uliopita wanaonesha nchini Kenya Kenya ni nchi ya sita Afrika nzima ambayo wameweza kukua na high rate of depression na ukianza kuona further to the research wanasema my youths kati ya 15 to 29 years ndio mm-hmm. unapata wamefanya nini wamekuwa affected sana na depression hilo linatuambia kwamba sisi kama my youths mm-hmm. na my youth group tunafaa kukuja na different activities ambayo itaweza kuengage how my youths to address this issue of depression. Mm-hmm. So ni mwana mtu ameuliza what causes depression? First things first, depression inaweza kosiwa na environmental factors. Environmental factors na maanisha where you, kwenye unaishi ama your surrounding, your neighbors. Wao unaweza kuwa na aim ya kufanya kitu but your partner or your sister anakuuluzisha hapa wewe usifanye hiyo haikusut wewe tafuta kitu kingine ya kufanya so sasa hiyo uko na yeye but utaenda utaka peke yako utaanza kufikiria ai kwa nini wewe ananiambia hivyo why is it not suited hiyo that is fact number one. so you can tell us other thing hiyo ni yangu na cause depression asante kwa mfano ukiona nikiongezea aliposema unaweza pata mtu pengine ametoka katika familia ya uchochole wale ambao hawezi kujikimu unapata mtoto kama yule pengine anaona wale wengine wanakula vizuri kualiko kwao inafanya na kuwa depressed kwa sababu anaona the same thing is happening in our home so ile kufikiria kuweza kujiweka katika ile hali ya kufikiria ni lini ambayo sisi katika familia yetu pia tutaweza kufanya jambo fulani na ndiposa nimesema jinsi nilivyosema hapo awali ni vyema na ni bora sana kwetu kama tutaweza kukuwa na centers ambayo hao mayuts watakuwa wanakuwa 
advice then atakuwa anaji he appreciates who he is and the background in which he comes from ukijaribu kuona watu kama kina professor Hassan Said kina dr Kalebi na wengine kina dr Asha ambao sasa hizi wameweza kuji, kujikimu kama wasingepata watu ambao wanawapush and people who could guide them probably they would not be doing it well pengine kuongezea tena kuhusiana na, na na hilo hilo jambo la depression ni kuwa ukiona financial situation ya many of their families ambao tuko nao katika mta many of them there are people who cannot afford their daily meals kumaanisha wengi wao wanatarajia misaada na mambo mengine so kutakuwa na depression kama huyu kijana ama huyu mtoto hataweza kufanya nini kupata mtu ambaye anaweza kukimu kukimu mahitaji yake ukija ukiona tena uh, sisi kama ma youths kuna issues ambayo inatukumba sana sisi kama issues ya relationship kuna depression katika hizo relationship kwa mfano demo wako anataka umpeleke umpeleke chikenin. umpeleke chikenin na wewe unaweza mpeleka tu razak hapo so utafanya <laughs> nini unapata unakuwa depressed ama unakuwa stress because depression by itself is stress and you end up to to the to the next level now so kuna swali is the brother already admitted in the bar he is mentoring our young people to pursue the law anakuuliza okay sante mimi ya sija already nimeingia Kenya School of Law niliingia tarehe 3 Februari na natarajia kumaliza kufanya mtihani wangu November tarehe 21 kisha baadaye niende pp legend ni kwa admitted to the bar kwa hivyo bado na okay uh, treatment ya depression what mtu anaweza fanya agenda ajitoe kwa hiyo depression unaweza pata treatment iko na treatment yake ama diet ama anything of sort sante ukitaka kuangalia jinsi unaweza ku, ku you can address depression ukiona once mtu ame lose interest he considers himself worthless ama alikuwa anapenda ku analala for 8 hours usingizi yake imeanza kukatika then this person is depressed mm-hmm. now the best way to address your issue of depression mm-hmm. is like going for the first five elements ya kwanza ni mtu kama huyo unaweza kumjumuisha na mayuts wengine hata kama ni nyumbani at least apate watu wako karibu na yeye pale watu wanapongea anaongea inamsaidia kufanya nini kutoa ile stress ambayo ako nayo mm-hmm. so that means kumweka in a gathering ama kumweka kuwe pamoja na mtu kwa sababu akiwa peke yake ndio basi anaanza kufikiria utevu zake kwa mfano mtu ambaye amempoteza mzazi wake lazima akuwe karibu na mtu ambaye ataweza kumkuongea naye mara 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 kwa mara jambo la pili ambalo wengi wana wana research imefanya ni improve mtu ambaye unapoona ako na stress sana kama hakuna mtu karibu na yeye basi inasemwa anaweza chukua vitabu na anze kusoma akijiweka ndani ya vitabu vitabu pia vinaweza kufanya nini asahau your stress jambo la tatu ambayo linaweza kusaidia to beat issues to do with the, with the, with the depression huyu mtu ambaye pindi amepa akipata guidance and counseling anapaswa kupata guidance and counseling kwa watu ambayo uh, the counselors na tuko na wengi hapa katika mashirika ya mashirika ya jamii katika mtaa wetu kuna shofko kuna kikoshe na mashirika mengine akienda pale ataweza kupatiwa guidance and counsel. Pengine jambo la mwisho ambalo tunaweza kufanya ni kuangalia the diet of this person kwa sababu kuna different diets ambayo wameweza kutolewa ambayo inaweza kumsaidia mtu ambaye ako na ako depressed. Lakini jambo zuri kabisa ambalo tunafaa kuona mtu ambaye ako depressed pia tunaambiwa anaweza kujishirikisha katika sports and activities. Anaweza kufanya exercises. Hiyo exercise za kikimbia the flow of blood hizo vitu zote zinaweza mm-hmm. kumfanya inatoa stress pole pole okay. but it's a gradual process uh, yeah. so nick d anauliza what causes depression in children umeongelea youth sana mm-hmm. so not unaweza our kids from let's say 3 years to 12 hapo nini inakosa wana kwa depressed so clinical depression among us the, the teenagers wale ambao wako hapo chini kwa mfano tunaweza peana 
kuwa zuzuri uh, a good example mtoto wa boarding school mm-hmm. na huyu mtoto wa boarding school anakuwa bullied pale so that is already a, a reason there's that anapata wenzake ambayo a hostile environment ambayo inamfanya yeye kama yeye kama kama mwanafunzi akuwe depressed hiyo ni ya kwanza mm-hmm. domestic violence in the house if this is a young ni mtoto mdogo ambaye anaona baba akiangalia maslahi like financial positions of financial position of the household itaweza kumsaidia huu mtoto then jambo ambalo linasumbua sana katika mtaa mm-hmm. ni kwamba unaangalia pia pressure among is this young au watoto wadogo. Pengine mm-hmm. huyu akitoka kwao anapatiwa shilingi kumi. But wewe ukitoka kwenu unapatiwa shilingi moja ama hata hupatiwi, hiyo pia inaweza kufanya nini? Kusababisha mtoto akuwe na, na depression au mtoto. Mm-hmm. At the same time kuna ile medical medical depression, I mean ama biological depression ambayo mtoto ana, anazaliwa akiwa naye kwa mfano kama bipolar. Ni kitu ambayo inaweza kumfanya mtoto ana, anazaliwa na at a certain period because of some traumatic reasons inafanya inari inariyoka from many times mm-hmm. ambaye inazafanyika kwa mtoto mdogo na hata yule ambaye ni na hiyo bipolar dis, dis, depression inakosiwa na nini uh, um unaweza pata kwa mfano it's something that could be inherited from the, from the family or it's something that could come from the environment ama ni kitu ambayo pengine alipitia like aliona kitu fulani ilifanyika zamani mm-hmm. na ikam traumatize kabisa to the extent ambayo yeye mwenyewe maisha yake yameweza kuweza kuathirika Okay thank you What are the early stages of depression Um naweza kujaribu hapo kwa mfano mm-hmm. jinsi tulivyosema the early stages of depression ni kama moja huyu mtoto kama kuna kitu alikuwa anafanya interest yake inapunguka ina kama alikuwa amependa kukula sana unaona appetite yake na inapunguka ina, ina hiyo ni ya kwanza kama ni mtu alikuwa ameanza amezoea kuengage na watoto wenzake unaona anakuwa result kumaanisha anarudi kujichukulia yeye binafsi mm-hmm. hataki kuenda ku, ku, kupatana na wale wengine jambo jingine unaweza pengine uh, ameshajiona ni kama hawezani na maisha mm-hmm. na inaanza hivyo hadi ina, inafanya nini ina grow to the extent ambayo huyu mtoto ikisha kita mizizi unapata amekuwa with severe depression ambayo sasa ana commit suicide na mtoto anapo, mtoto ama mtu mzima anapofikia ile hatima ya kuweza ku, ku commit suicide meaning amefika a point where by he can no longer control himself ambayo sasa ndo tunasema from the early stages anapaswa kupata mtu ambaye anaweza fanya nini anaweza kumuongelesha na kumnasihi kutokana na mambo ya depression. Oh. So na mtu akienda hospitali anaweza pata dawa apart from counseling. Anaweza pewa dawa. Kuna counseling. Mara mingi unakupatia counseling. Wakiona kama ni jambo ambalo limekusumbua sana, kuna some injection unazopatiwa ambayo ina 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 suppress hiyo level of depression ama inakuweka katika aidha upate udungwe ulale ukipumzika kwa sababu mtu akikuwa na depression for a longer period of time mm-hmm. itakuwa inamsumbua but akidungwa ile shindano na lale kidogo amke you manage to control but mara mingi wanawasihi hao watoto waweze kuenda katika activities wakifanya activities sana inatoa ile ile stress na okay sudi so anauliza when he is depressed who is the right person for him to talk to when you're depressed the rightful person that you can approach is the closest person that you think you can speak to kwa sababu kama mimi pengine mama yangu ndo mtu closer sana naweza ongea na yeye na uko sure ukizungumza na yeye kwa mfano depression pengine unaweza kuwa na depression na mambo ya relationship na pengine huenda nisitaje kumwambia Abdul Aziz but nitaje kumwambia mtu fulani so huyo mtu fulani pengine nikimwambia i know he is better in a better position to one advise me hiyo ni ya kwanza two he can keep that information it can be confidential kwa sababu hata ukienda kwa counselor mm. unaenda pale with an intention that whatever you say will be made confidential between you and huyo huyo counselor mm. kwa hivyo mara nyingi aone tena anaweza ona kwa mfano kama ni mtu wa miaka 40 eh mm. anaweza ona kama kuna mtu zaidi umri wake ambaye ako na experience zaidi mm. kum kum advice 
Kama mtu wako amekuwa depressed, jambo la kwanza ambalo tunaweza kumadvise, na hiyo watu wengi sana wamesema ukisoma katika kitabu ambayo inazungumzia mambo ya depression, ni jambo muhimu sana kwake ni kutoka from that position ambayo yuko na kuenda kuzungumza. Kwa sababu akizungumza, atakuwa ina position kutoa nini? Kutoa ile kitu ambayo kina, kina msumbua. So the best thing is to find someone and you speak about it to that particular person. Na hiyo itakuwa ime, ime kusaidia sana. Kwa hivyo, kiwa depressed, usikae nayo. Toka nje, tafuta mtu ambayo uneza kuzungumza na ye, atakusaidia katika hiyo ishu yako ya, ya depression. So guys, ni hivyo vile hasa na mewambia. Asha to define a depression, na metupea types of depression. Nikdi hapo wepia unajua, so at least you could uneza help, patingine. Uh, ametuambia vile depression inakosiwa kwa adults, children, adolescent age, atujongelea waze. So nini neza kuwa cause ya depression kwa waze? Uh, ukiangalia mtu ambaye amepitwa na umri ambaye ni mzee mtu mzee anaweza kupatwa na depression in very many ways kwa mfano unapata huyu mzee ukiona kwa mfano katika mashirika ya Amerika mtu anapofika katika umri fulani na wanaona pengine haezi kupata good care anapelekwa katika the elder elders place lakini the problem na kwetu ni kuwa huyu mtu anazidi kuishi katika mtaa wa kibra kama ni mzee na the household ambayo anaishi there are very many challenges hapo so this mzee yale mashida ambayo kwa mfano kuna mzee ambaye ni 127 years in america mm-hmm. na bado ako hai hadi leo na ako kwa chill ako kwa the facility of the old mm-hmm. of the old people so inamaanisha there's a good environment pale jamepatiwa ambayo inafanya nini inamtolea stress so one environment can cause depression environmental factors could cause depression there could also be health wise ambayo pengine kuna magonjwa ambayo yanamsumbua yeye pengine anaomba Mungu afanye nini amkate am, am atoe roho yake ama nini so there are very many reasons sir mm. na na naona pia kuna uh, post postpartum depression mm-hmm. what's that mm. um kwa mfano unaweza pata mtu mtu after ame America Okay. Then badai unaweza pata tena something is recurring. Kumaanisha from the first instance hako amepata proper way ama kupata proper guidance ambayo ingeweza kumsaidia kufanya nini to address this particular issue. So the best way ni jinsi nilivyosema awali nikianza it's important to have a gradual process ambayo unamsaidia huyu mtu hadi anafika mahali ana anasema anaanza kufeel amerudi kuwa mtu fulani because the moment you're so much depressed mm. and nimeona hata kwa baadhi ya marafiki zangu mm. ambayo wamekuwa so much depressed kama ni mtu ambaye alikuwa anachana nywele unaona hachani nywele kama ni mtu ambaye alikuwa anavaa vizuri unaona mavazi yake yamebahati yame but meaning you you've not owned yourself you've decided to to be worthless you know you consider yourself with no with no value okay shukran sana hasa uh, guys tutaenda break kidogo like two minutes then we will be back <laughs> 